GitHub has always been a place for discussions about code, and that's what makes it so much better than a lot of other tools out there. But up until recently, it's been difficult to have visual sorts of discussions about code. You generally just have discussions inside of pull requests, but maybe there's some cool new feature that will help us with that. Let's mash on that. Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the ASP Dev Monsters. In today's episode we are going to talk about mermaids, uh, or maybe just a singular mermaid, uh, and more specifically this very interesting looking blog post uh, that came out just this week talking about being able to include diagrams in your GitHub Markdown now. Uh, so this is something that I have wanted for a long time uh, because I often feel like a picture is worth a thousand words and there's lots of places in pull requests or in you know just generally places inside of GitHub, in the wiki, that kind of place where I would like to have some ability to put in pictures and you can always paste pictures in but then you're kind of like going and creating the picture and pasting it in there and if somebody else needs to make a change to it it's difficult to do they have to find the source or recreate the picture um, and put it in there but fortunately a great new feature has come out here that allows including mermaid uh, markdown inside of your markdown files now mermaid is a special little dialect of uh, i guess the markdown that you would include that allows generating images uh, specifically it allows generating like diagrams like these here so that you can set up flows from like a to b and so forth uh, and it's actually a very powerful little library so i have here a little issue in a github repo just a random repo so this is just somewhere that supports markdown so all you need to do is just do these kind of code blocks here with the three back ticks and then tell github what language it is which in this case is mermaid and then you can put in this very simple looking code here and this will get you a diagram so this top one right here is a td diagram or top down diagram and as you can see, I'm connecting A to B and B to C. Uh, and let's throw in another connection here, maybe from like B to D, and then we'll throw in another connection from C to D also. And uh, then when I click here over on preview, it's gonna generate this diagram for me. Looks like it messed this one up just a little bit. Um, but now it's really quick and easy for me to add these sorts of simple diagrams. And the language definition is quite easy too. Uh, so this is just kind of like the name of a node here. And then after it, I can put in parentheses what I'd like the, the title to be. And that's gonna add that information right here. Let's just fix that clipping problem there. Uh, but there's lots of different diagrams that you can do based on this. So that one was a top down. There's also a left to right diagram. Uh, and the nice thing about these top down and left to right is that I can actually just copy this in a bit right here and we'll get the, the same thing set up over here. Uh, so these are just kind of flowchart diagrams. There's also things like pie charts in here, which I think is really interesting because there's lots of places that I would like to see uh, simple charting inside of GitHub. So consider uh, some of the bots out there that you see that will take PRs and run performance testing against them. How nifty would it be if instead of just putting in a bunch of text, uh, which you often see, there were diagrams showing like, hey, this is how long it took before, this is how long it's taking now, and you could see multiple different diagrams and that would make this really easy to surface. Uh, and all you would need to do is in your bot that was doing that would be to just generate this kind of really simple looking markdown here. So like this pie chart is super simple. So if you're interested in taking a look at the different diagrams, there is this mermaid.js site here on GitHub and it'll give you kind of a list of all the different sorts of diagrams. And this is an evolving library. So there's lots of new stuff coming out. So I've taken a look at flowcharts already. We've seen here just that simple node. Uh, 
uh, but they get more complicated so you can provide shapes to them. Uh, there is a bit in here for supplying like icons to put inside of these. Uh, I don't know if that particular bit is working right now, but uh, you can do all sorts of cool subgraphs. And so these are really nifty and quick to put together. Uh, and then sequence diagrams, spin back up to the top there. So this sort of thing, you can see this would be super simple for, or super useful for explaining uh, something that you have changed inside of PR. So you can see like this is the flow of how the information goes inside of it. Uh, if you're really old school, there are class diagrams supported in <laughs> here too. I don't know. If it's been a while since I've done one of those, but yeah, I, I, I have done a sequence diagram recently and I think it was using mermaid syntax and I was really impressed how concise that syntax is and how powerful it is. Like, it's pretty easy to understand and write and it generates like actually useful diagrams. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I mean, I'm super impressed with this and I'm really looking forward to being able to use it. Even like Gantt charts, like how nice is that? Um, mm. So lots of good features here. Uh, the, the GitHub documentation is kind of lacking, but I wouldn't really expect them to duplicate any of this. So we'll put a link to the blog post down below and also to this mermaid diagram uh, page. And you don't have to turn on any feature flags or anything like that. This is just enabled by default and it, it just works. So this is pretty much anywhere that they render out Markdown. So. Yeah, so I have tried it uh, like on a wiki, on pull requests, um, and I think it even works on like comments in code. So oh. yeah, basically anywhere that you put so it. Issues, PRs, wikis, I assume your readme file, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that sort of place too. So that's another good place for, for putting it in is on the readme Very file. Cool. I don't know if there's a readme in this one. There isn't, but yeah, if we were to add a readme file then uh, we could add it into that too. So. Pretty excited for this. All right. Me well, too. I think that's everything. So thank you everybody for joining us today. Remember to like, comment, and share. And we'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye.